dear friends welcome to infos welcome to another video welcome to oil and gas training series we are going on on uh, compressors so this is my 47th video and compressor uh, part 4 in this video we are discussing about uh, specifically on uh, centrifugal compressor let us go ahead uh, that one so centrifugal compressors using the principle of aerodynamic compression which involves converting energy from one form to another to increase the pressure and temperature of the gas it convert kinetic energy that is velocity to static energy pressure the core component of a centrifugal compressor is impeller centrifugal force let us see what is the meaning uh, definition of that one when something is training about a central point, a force pushes towards from the central point. The faster the things is training, the greater the force. This is known as, this force is known as centrifugal force. In a centrifugal compressor, the impeller is the, is that the thing turning around. You can see the impeller picture is there. We will get to understand more on uh, impeller in the next slide so the the working the main working part of a centrifugal compressor is called impeller if there is only one impeller in the compressor compressor is called in a single stage compressor and if it is more than one impeller it is classed multi stage or two stage compressor more than two is multi stage compressor you can see the picture is there in the impeller okay and uh, centrifugal compressor working uh, in a brief uh, uh, level we can look that one pressure increases volume decreases energy increases impeller rotate rotate the throw rotate and rotates and throw the gas particle to the edge velocity of gas is increasing pressure drop in the eye on the impeller more gas flows to suction side gas velocity changes into pressure energy the construction of a centrifugal compressor is a little bit important to know that one so there are constructional features of a centrifugal compressor are casing impeller shaft balance balancing drum or balance drum bearings seal diaphragm guide vane coupling most of the uh, these informations are uh, important for mechanical uh, based uh, uh, persons <coughs> sorry mechanical persons and process people also to a little bit understanding is good for uh, to working in a compressor let us see how it is casing uh, the picture is there and horizontally split casing is there casing is a cover like a house or housing for the compressor the internal parts protect the internal parts so horizontal split casing and vertical uh, split casing and impeller is the rotating element of a compressor that increases the gas velocity so three type of the are there open type and semi open and enclosed closed type there are many types of uh, impellers are there <coughs> and another one is a shaft and rotor a multi stage compressor has two more or more impellers on a single shaft a shaft including sleeves impeller balance drum etc is called a rotor <coughs> All of these items are fixed to the shaft and rotate inside the compressor casing. If you have any chances to go mechanical workshop, when the compressor is open for any maintenance job, you can see this all uh, items uh, specifically explaining here. Balance drum is the flow through an impeller is unbalanced. A multi-stage rotor might have extreme forces pushing towards the suction and see the a balancing line is there in the suction side and discharge it there is a balancing line is there to maintain the uh, pressure both side and the pressure difference bearings we are discussing and the pressure difference at both ends of the compressor causes imbalance on the rotor this imbalance causes to the shaft to move backward and forward axial and side to side radial so bearings are used to keep the shaft in its normal operating position uh, thrust bearing is used to control the axial motion and general bearing is used to control the radial motion. So, bearings are there, thrust bearing and general bearing. 
thrust bearing used to locate the rotor axially at the same time to absorb any axial rotor imbalance. So, the bearing consists of a metallic disc fitted to the shaft and rotate with the shaft. A number of pads and shoes, uh, so pads or shoes are used to keep the shaft in axial position. So, it is all explaining using the picture. It is slightly difficult to understand this one compresses always keeping a closed uh, rotating equipment. But we will get some basic information and idea. Uh, those who are working in uh, compressor is good. That is why we are explaining this uh, constructional part. Journal or main bearings. Journal bearings are located to support whilst allowing the shaft to turn with the minimum of friction and hold the rotor centrally when the speed and load condition changes. So, two general bearings are used to support the shaft. General bearings are used to control the radial motion of the shaft. And shaft seals are there. A seal is a device to prevent ones, one fluid from leaking into another. Compressor can be divided into internal seal which are designed to prevent the movement of gas within the compressor casing external seals which are designed to prevent the escape of gas from compressor casing to atmosphere. So, both seals are here. <laughs> internal seal, the labyrinth seal is the simplest and most common. A series of sharp teeth are machined on the inside of a circular metal liner fitted into close tolerances around the shaft. This is the details of a labyrinth seal. Labyrinth seals are most economical and simplest to all shaft, uh, shaft seal. This seal consists of a series of thin strips or fin mounted on a stationary ring and maintain close clearance with the shaft and tip of the fin. Most of the Labyrinth seal are used aluminum fins. Aluminum is corrosion resistant and having enough strength. Labyrinth seal is not a positive seal. It helps to reduce the flow. Typically, use of Libran seals in a centrifugal compressor are interstage seals to stop the flow of gas from the tip of an impeller to its eye, to maintain the differential pressure across the balance drum, to control the escape of compressor gas into the seal system of an oil film, to control the loss of lubricating or seal along the shaft. External seals, when flammable, wherever uh, flammable or dangerous gases are being compressed, it is important that the gases do not escape from the compressor. To prevent this uh, from occurring, the gap between the compressor shaft and the compressor casing at each end is sealed. The most common devices used for external seals are liquid film seal. Liquid film seals are commonly used as external seals on high pressure, heavy duty compressors as they provide complete sealing capabilities. Carbon seal rings, mechanical contact seals and dry gas seal are also used. Diaphragm and diffusers, another internal part. Diaphragm and diffusers are non-rotating part of the compressor. Diaphragms are the metal components which physically divide the individual stages, impellers in a multi-stage compressor. Effectively, they are individual casings for each impeller and allow the gas flow from the discharge of one impeller to the suction of the next. In some large horizontally split compressors, the heat generated by combustion Crosses, causes diaphragm. Guide vein. The performance of a compressor is affected by the velocity and direction of the gas enters the eye of the impeller. The compressor capacity and gas pressure raise and increase slightly if the gas enters the impeller in a direction opposite to that of a rotation of the impeller. The compressor efficiency is higher if the gas enters the impeller in the same direction as the rotation of the impeller. Guide veins are located in the diaphragm, direct the flow path, the diaphragm direct flow path of the gas to the next impeller. Each impeller has its own guide vein that must be matched to the impeller. Compressors manufacturers will specify the correct one. This is the guide vein. Guide veins are used between stages and at the compressor inlet, direct the flow of the gas into the eye of the impeller. Guide veins are can be fixed or adjustable type. <coughs> Adjustable type are normally used for single stage compressor or at the first stage of inlet multi stage compressor. Diffuser and volute. At the gas, at the gas, uh, at the gas pass through the diffuser, the area 
of flow increases and the velocity of gas reduces. Velocity of the gas reduces and the pressure increases. The volute again the flow area increases and this reduces <coughs> the velocity further and the pressure is maximum when the gas leaves the volute, this area. Couplings. Couplings transmit the rotation from the driver shaft to the compressor shaft. If a gearbox is between the driver and the compressor, a coupling attaches the driver shaft to the inlet gearbox shaft and another coupling attaches the outlet gearbox uh, shaft to the compressor shaft. So that is the coupling. See, it is connecting between the shaft and the compressor party. <coughs> the coupling must be able to withstand the shock of a sudden change in the compressor load or stoppage of the driver. They must be flexible enough to transmit the power from the driver to the compressor at a high speed when the two shafts are not aligned. In fact, it is almost impossible to perfectly align the two shafts because of operating and load variation and the temperature difference of the driver and the compressor result one expanding slightly more than the other. Thanks for watching this video, small video, quickly finish and we will do more on compressor, compressor classes, compressor details, information in our coming videos. Thank you for watching this video.